Hey, hey guys. Today I'm gonna to show you guys a little setup that I have out here on my TM0 in my garage. This is a brand new 10 scale off-road uh, radio controlled race car. This is one's actually made by a company called X-Ray. They're actually made in Slovakia. They're actually made in Europe. One of the very few cars that's not made in either China or Taiwan. And uh, it's a super nice car, but it comes with a front pivot where the suspension arms mount that is made out of plastic. And of course, X-Ray, they sell their own version of aluminum pivot, but I decided that I would use the TM0 and this new DS Machine Works more side fixture to make my own pivot. And so I just thought I'd share a little bit of those photos and videos with you guys here today and just kind of show off uh, the fixture more than anything and just kind of share with you guys one of, uh, I guess, my process for prototyping stuff. I kind of find a product or I find a need in the market and then I do my very best to find some aspect of a product that we can do better. It can be more cost effective. Sometimes it can be more durable or it can last longer. Sometimes we use a material that other people don't use, but we just try to find a, a, an edge, I guess you will. We try to find an angle that creates value for our community. I come out here and I prototype it right here on the TM0 using the more side fixture on the uh, little 160 millimeter fourth axis. And then we put it into production on a bigger machine right here in the United States. So come on, look over my shoulder and I'll show you guys exactly how we do this. I guess the first step would be showing you the fixture and kind of like the idea of how it works. And then I'll show you some of the material. Then I'll show you some of the parts we made. Then I'll show you some cutting footage and we'll call it a day. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have a piece of material here in the vise. There's a little vise stop. Then we have the actual fifth axis dovetail fixture. That's a 05125 dovetail fixture on the more side fixture. So we end up taking a little block of aluminum like the one over there and we cut a dovetail into it so that it can be mounted directly into the fixture right here. And so we mount that. You don't want to, you don't want to make everything too tight. You don't want to tighten this thing down too tight. So this is just a, uh, a torque wrench for putting like optics on rifles to make sure that we don't get this thing too tight. So we tighten it down and we snug it until the torque wrench clicks. And now you can control anything in the fourth axis and you can go ahead and use a 7 8 inch wrench to loosen this up. This comes up and then this articulates in 45 degree increments. So, so however you want to do it, you tighten it back down. Now what I tend to do, I tend to program from the center line. So I program from a theoretical center line. From the, I basically calculated the center line of this rotary and that's where my Y and Z runs from. And then sometimes I'll move the X depending on my part. But this has yielded a pretty solid result for me. And I'll show you guys why. Because on some of these other parts that we've been making, they have angled holes. The buggy that I showed you guys earlier, which is right here, you see it's got this aluminum pivot where the suspension arms mount and it's all one piece all the way up through here. This is all one piece of aluminum. And it looks just like this. This is one of the early prototypes that we made. Okay. And this actually replaced this plastic piece actually had this little black bar right here bolted onto the front of it, kind of like the way this aluminum one does. And I think the idea was that if the car were to have a collision, if you had this aluminum bar bolted into the bulkhead, it would be less likely to get destroyed. Well, it, this breaks pretty easily. And of course, the company that makes the car, they have aftermarket components. And not only do they make this piece in aluminum like this one, they also make it with different angled holes because it, because it dramatically changes the way the car handles. And so you guys may or may not notice, but on this first early prototype, the holes are right in the holes are right in the middle on the front and the back. But if you look at, well, I guess you really can't tell the back side of this one. You can see that the holes are offset and that's because this whole thing, I don't know if you guys can tell, but these slots are actually angled. This whole thing has an extra three degrees. So the holes, the holes don't run per, you know, collinear to the body. They actually run at a three degree angle to, modify the performance. And on this one, there's a little pocket here so that you can bolt a tungsten weight in from the bottom. And so the nice part about using the fixture, the more side fixture, is that when you put your part in there, 
you can literally tip it backwards to face it off. That way you can spot and drill your holes at a perfect angle while the part is tilted. It's super, super useful to be able to work that way. And then of course, when you tip it over on the edge, because you wanna, so you start off with this being your X and that away from you being your Y. So you do all your work, you tip it back. Well then when you wanna tip it forward, you can rotate it 90 degrees in the fixture to clear out these little pockets for the arms. So it's just a very, very fast way to cut this out of one piece of aluminum very quickly. Just so you guys are aware, when I wanna finish this off, I just grab this whole thing in some vice jaws and I just go ahead and deck this whole thing off, which leaves me with something approximating this right here. I will say this, the downside uh, or the challenge that you add when you start making everything angled is you have to decide just like this pocket right here is angled, this back surface ends up being angled so that when you put it into a set of vice jaws, you have to cut this hat off and then you have to angle that surface so that it's, you know, so that the suspension doesn't bind as it articulates. So that's it. All in all, I'm a pretty big fan uh, of, the, of, of this little TM0 and the Moorside fixture, to be honest with you. We've made a ton of stuff. As you guys can see, we've got a whole bunch of these pieces. These are actually 6AL 4V grade five titanium. And the machine cuts this stuff absolutely beautifully. The only challenges I've really encountered cutting this titanium really are drilling because you really need a carbide drill bit. Drilling this stuff with high-speed steel is just, it's a real, it murders drill bits. Pretty straightforward, right? I hope you guys learned a little something. I hope you benefited from watching this video. This is how I personally use this little TM0 out here in my garage, often late at night to prototype parts and iterate to try to get the right fit, get the right size, find a way to bring more value to my community so that they can go out and have more fun with the products we create. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.